practice makes perfect. Do you agree? Um, but in Indonesia, it's hard to find um, someone or like a native speaker to practice English with. Yep. So, what should I do? All right. So we are talking in 2019. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There are lots of things that you can find. You can find the apps and everything. Um, if you are If you think you're too shy or, or you think you're not ready, there's an app actually also. This is not an advertisement, all right? Okay. <laughs> But there are lots so many, of yeah, apps, uh, are, are apps actually in, uh, in your phone uh, that is either monologues or if you want to find someone who wants to learn your language so you can like exchange your language and you are learning their language or English. Mm. Yes, there are some apps. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, When we want to email someone, whether uh -huh. it be potential clients uh -huh. um, or someone who might be just uh, our colleague, uh -huh. should we always be formal, do you think? Um, I don't think so. So, just to be safe, just use semi-formal. Okay. Yes, so semi-formal means Uh, you don't have to be really formal, um, but you still need to be uh, like you are talking not to your friends but to your colleagues. So, for example, you should still add the uh, dear, blah blah blah, and then also the content. The content is like you can use your language, the one that you usually use with your colleagues, and of course, with signature. Yeah, with clothes, mm -hmm. it's still important. Yeah. Yes, it is.